The submarine rescue vehicle is slowly lowered from the back of Norwegian container ship Bren Star. Huge hydraulic rams lift the 30-ton, 30-foot vessel. Remarkably, the crane, as with the rest of the system, was fitted to this ship in just over 18 hours. It's a delicate process. Nemo, as the crew call her, is packed with sensitive equipment. As wind speeds gust to 45 knots, she's released. Here we are in high winds and um, not particularly high sea, but certainly not a calm sea, demonstrating that the system's capability is certainly capable of handling the conditions we now find ourselves in. As Nemo sinks below the surface, her target is nearly 200 feet below her, the Norwegian submarine Utvir. Nemo control. Comms check. Over. On the bridge of the REM Star, the multinational team made up of representatives from Norway, France and Great Britain monitor the submarine's progress. Oh, it's very useful. Of course, we train frequently with our submarines and the systems uh, and it's uh, actually good for the submariners to see that the system works gives them a confidence in that if something should happen, then we have a proper system that could actually get them back up on the surface. On Nemo, the Utvir eventually comes into view, clearly visible through the large observation window in front of the pilots. The smaller submarine positions itself above the Utvir's rescue hatch. A powerful seal using the pressure of the water means Nemo's crew can open the hatches, the rescue can begin. Several hours later, it's all over and Nemo surfaces. A rib helps her get into position for recovery. But there's a problem. Ropes have become tangled. Part of the recovery mechanism isn't working. A Royal Navy diver has to jump onto Nemo and try and fix things manually. The process takes over an hour and a half. The exercise, including the next dive we should have been on, is called off. But as light fades, Nemo is finally raised from the water. One of those things that goes wrong occasionally went wrong. A rope, which should be connected to another rope, became detached. We don't yet know how that happened. There's a small investigation going on at the moment, and we aim to find out the root cause and fix it. So not everything went to plan, but that's the nature of this rescue business. They'll have to deal with every eventuality as and when it happens. And sure, they couldn't get the submarine back on board easily today, but they tested their drills for doing that sort of emergency lift out of the sea. And it's proven to me as an outsider what a delicate, highly skilled and sometimes dangerous job this is. Tim Cooper, Forces News, off the coast of Norway.